Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen. I got a trick up my sleeve today. We're going to make stuffed bell peppers with a secret ingredient. And you have to watch the video to find out what it is. Let me tell you, it kicks that flavor up about 50 notches and they are unbelievably delicious. So come on over to the stove and let's get everything going and we'll get this project finished and then y'all know my secret kind of gone back and forth between unstuffed and stuffed so I decided that I'm making stuffed bell peppers so this one has already been cleaned you just cut the top off and then you run your knife around there and you get the insides out and I've got this where I ran my knife around it and then I try to get as much of that white pith out as I can then I'm going to put this in a pot with just a little bit of uh, salt and I'm going to cover them in water and I'm going to cook them until they start to change to that dark, I call it army green looking color. And then I'll drain them and stuff them with my filling that we'll finish making here in a minute. Okay, I've got them just filled with water. I fill them with water and all around it and I'm just going to put it on the stove until they're the right temp uh, color and I'll show y'all. Okay, I've got my onion in my little enamel, cast iron enamel pot. Put a little olive oil in there and I'm just going to cook it until it uh, starts to turn translucent. Y'all know how to do this, but I just thought I'd let you watch everything that I'm doing. I'm just going to stir it right and in a minute I'm going to add a little bit of garlic, but we don't want to leave the garlic in there cooking but about a minute just till it gets fragrant because it'll get bitter. I'm going to let my onions cook down and then I'm going to add a little. The onion and the pepper is cooked down some so I'm going to go ahead and add my hamburger and it is good. The outside discolored a little bit but it's still fine. It smells good. I just had it in the icebox a day and it didn't like that. And we have to get our burger done, and I have to cook some rice to go in it. Y'all know that I'm going to add my black pepper and some onion powder and garlic powder. That's just a given if I'm going to cook something savory. It always has that in it. This is not a set recipe. It's just an idea, a method that y'all can use to go by. Okay, if y'all could smell, you'd know the garlic is in there and it's smelling yummy. So I'm going to put a lid on this and I'll get the rice cooked and mix it together and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to cook my rice in my rice maker. And um, I've got two cups of water in there because I'm going to, uh, four cups of water because I'm going to cook two cups of rice. And I like to add uh, onion soup mix to mine. And since this is going to go in a ground beef mixture, that'll just blend really well with the flavors. I'm going to add some butter. Just get a hunk. I don't usually measure that. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of onion powder. This is the same as if you were cooking it on the stove and you put your water to a boil, add your rice, turn it down to a simmer, and simmer it 20 minutes. It's just easier for me to do it in the rice maker and have my stove burners where I can do something else. I love this rice maker. It always turns out right. Okay, and I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. Then I'll add my rice, put the lid on it, set the, I've got it set, and when it's done, the bell will chime, and we'll be ready to have our, um, we'll be ready to have rice to put in our meat mixture. Okay, you see how the peppers have turned that darker olive green? They're done, because I don't want them to get so tender that they won't hold their shape. So the peppers are ready. I'm going to drain them and just set them aside till everything else is ready and then we'll stuff them. 
Okay, my rice is done, and I added in some of my Thrive Mixed Red and Green Bell Peppers to the rice, uh, and some mushrooms, because I just wanted that extra flavor and color. So I'm going to toss it, fluff it up, and then I'm going to add rice to my meat till I have about a 50-50 mixture over there. That's what I'm looking for. And that's going to really probably be about a cup of cooked rice. I'm going to have rice left, and I'll make something else with the rest of this good seasoned rice. But I make my pepper stuffing, and I love rice, y'all, so I could just eat this rice as a side dish when I cook it like this with the flavors in it. It's yummy. And I'm going to tell y'all now, I'm adding a secret ingredient. These are hatch pepper stuffed green peppers. I added some fresh hatch that I had gotten. <clears throat> I've got a load on the freeze dryer, and y'all will see that video. But I had some extras that I froze just to use in cooking. So I've got hatch peppers, red and green bell peppers, garlic and onion in the meat mixture. And in my rice, I put into the water, I put a package of onion soup mix, and I added some Thrive mushrooms and red and green bell peppers from Thrive. You could use fresh if you wanted to. So I'm going to set this aside. And we'll get our peppers stuffed, and then I'm going to put them in the oven to melt the cheese. Sometimes I'll put a layer of uh, coleslaw in there for some crunch, but today this is all I want in there because of my hatch peppers. Now what's left here, if I wanted to, I could scramble some eggs and it makes wonderful breakfast tacos to have the rice and the beef and all in there. It's just up to you what you do with what's left. And what I like to do is make me a tomato gravy to go on them. And I may do that today and I may not. But I love tomato gravy on my bell peppers like this. Okay, I'm just going to put just a little cheese to melt on the top. What's life without cheese? Okay, I'm going to get these in the June oven, and I'm just going to cook them until the cheese melts, because everything is cooked. Heat it through, and they'll be ready to, to serve a meal. I have boiled some fresh okra out of our garden, and I have fresh purple whole peas cooking, so I'm going to have a good lunch today. Okay, the June oven is hot, and I'm fixing to take my peppers and put them in there just till the cheese melts, and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I got my peppers out of the oven. And they smell wonderful. That hatch pepper in there kicks it up 10 notches. I'm going to get a plate made and show y'all what I'm having today. And I'm going to sit down and have lunch. Actually, I'm home alone. Troy and our daughter and a couple of her kids went up to my son's north of Dallas. And I stayed home. I've got the freeze dryer going. I've got to tend to it. So I'm going to have a good lunch right here by myself. Don't y'all wish y'all was here and I wouldn't have to eat by myself and you could taste of all this good stuff? Here's my plate. I'm going to tell you what I did. On the okra, I just washed it, covered it with water, put a little bit of onion and garlic powder and bacon grease in the pan and cooked it till it was tender. And oh my, it's wonderful. The peas, I browned some bacon till it was between, it was almost crisp but not totally crisp. And I left the bacon grease in there, and I cut, put water in it, onion and garlic powder. And, uh, well, first of all, I chopped up one medium onion and put it in with the, when the bacon got crisp and sweated it off. Then I put my water in and seasoned it with salt, onion, and garlic powder, and put my purple whole peas in and just let them simmer until they were tender. You know how I cooked my pepper. And that is cornbread that I made with just my regular cornbread recipe 
and I added corn, canned corn, jalapenos, cheese, and onions to it, and it's wonderful. So, I a tomato from my little garden. I have sweet tea waiting on me. I'm fixing to sit and eat part of this. Y'all, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. It's been a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and couldn't make my mind up if I was going to make it stuffed or unstuffed. But man, the taste is absolutely wonderful. So, put this in your little file. It's something that you can... People don't make them a whole lot. Some people detest bell peppers. You could stuff a poblano with this same mixture. You could stuff just about anything with it. It's good. Stuff your mouth with it. Tastes real good. I like it. When Mama would make unstuffed bell peppers, she would make the mixture just like this with bell peppers chopped up in it. And that would be our meat mixed with rice, just like I did. And that would be our meat when we would have pinto beans and cornbread. And it was we looked forward to that. Boy, it was good. Sometimes she'd call it goulash. But all it was was the stuffing from bell peppers that wasn't put in a bell pepper. So y'all can change it according to your taste. This is a little bit spicy with the hatch peppers, but oh, that flavor is just, there's no comparison to the flavor of a hatch pepper. Y'all have a good day. Come back in a day or two and we'll be doing something else. And um, I don't know. Y'all see the probably my freeze-dried hatch I'm going to grind them into powder. So y'all will see that coming up shortly because they're still in the freeze dryer right now. And I've got a few more goodies coming up. So come on back, visit with me, take care of yourself, enjoy the last few days of the kids being out of school. The good Lord bless y'all and take care of you. I appreciate every one of you watching. I feel so blessed.